another Adventures with Ranger Joe with me, Ranger Joe, and today we're out on location, we're in the absolutely picturesque Inverness, and I have come to the Loch Ness in the hope of sighting the mythical beast that is the Loch Ness monster, and I think we might be in luck, because we've gathered a little bit of a crowd, and looking out into the distance, I think I can see it, can you? said the Loch Ness Monster isn't real. Not me, I always believed. Now if you're going to come down to this area of the Loch Ness where we are in Doris Beach and there's an absolutely fantastic pub restaurant over here called the Doors Inn which you can go and get yourself a light lunch, a drink, anything and enjoy the absolutely spectacular views. What you can also do as well is if you see this Nettinghunter.co.uk. Have a look at him online, but also go and visit his shack as well. If you're down here, he has got absolutely loads and loads of different Nessie and Loch Ness related things that you can buy, and they look absolutely fantastic. How amazing was that? Nessie at Loch Ness. Now, what we're going to do this week as well is you'll also get it to get to take part in some Velociraptor training. So I'm going to teach all of you how I train Rocky, our oldest Velociraptor here at Jurassic Life. You'll get to take part yourself as well. Hello again everyone, wasn't that fun at the Loch Ness seeing the legendary mythical beast? Well, not so mythical, the Loch Ness monster. Now you're in for a treat. We're back, well I'm back at my Jurassic Live campus after a fun-filled two weeks in Scotland. I absolutely love that place. Now we're back at the campus and what we've done today is we've actually made a visit to our local hospital around the children's ward, around the A&E, just cheering people up and brightening their day. Now we took our dinosaur, we took Rocky, our Velociraptor, and we took Bash, our Stiggy Moloch, and all of the team and all of the cast and everybody that comes with me on tour and where we go with the dinosaurs, they come with us as well. And it was so much fun. Have a look through these photos now. all of you today how we train our velociraptor rocky because obviously we can't just take a ferocious meat-eating dinosaur into a hospital we've got to train them first so i'm going to show you some commands and then you can have a go and then guess what i'm going to bring rocky over and we're going to see how well you do so if everybody if you all stand up for me that's it, yeah, that's, even you, yeah, I see you, okay, that's it, stand it up, and I am going to show you some of the moves that helps us train Rocky. Right, so what you all need to do to start off with, I want to see one hand, two hand up, and you need to really mean it, so get them hands right up, so you can see them, perfect. And then what we do, so there's four commands in total, and I'm going to show them to you now, so first off, to bring Rocky towards us this is what we do so you need to be nice and big nice and clear so he knows what you're doing and then when you want him to stop we do this now you can't just stand there and do this you really need to mean it and you go stop fantastic okay hands back up everybody that's it now to get him away from you because he can get a bit nippy and sometimes you need him to be back over there a little bit we do this with our hands, are you ready? That's it. And then when we want him to stop, what do we do? That's right, stop. There we are. So that is one of the most important commands that gets Rocky to stop. Now, side to side is very simple. All you need to do is side to side. And whichever way 
you move your arms is the same way Rocky will move as well. And when you're finished with him, it's another stop. Okay, now, you all did fantastic then, so I think you're ready to train with a real dinosaur. Rangers, I want your arms up, ready, because here comes Rocky. Okay, Rangers, now this is Rocky the Velociraptor. Now, I really, really need you to remember everything I taught you. I know you're ready, and I know you're gonna do a brilliant job. So first, everyone, can you please bring Rocky towards you? And stop! Oh, fantastic job. Now move Rocky away from you. And stop him. Oh, you're doing brilliantly. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to move him side to side. So you're going to move him to your left first. And then to your right. What a fantastic job. And I tell you what, for good luck, bring him back towards you one more time. And stop him. Oh, right, you better get him back in. He's starting to miss the aid. Well done, everybody. You did fantastic. That's Rocky now safely back in his enclosure. Well done, everyone. You did such an amazing job. You're all real-life rangers now. You just controlled a velociraptor. You're incredible, and I'm so proud of all of you. Now, as a special treat, I thought we'd unbox a toy that, well, I was walking around the supermarket, and I seen it, and... I couldn't help but pick it up. It looks so much fun. So I thought you can all unbox it with me because I am a big kid at heart like everybody else. So come and join me and we'll see what toy we're unboxing today. Oh, welcome everybody. Welcome to my office. And we're gonna unbox, well, I don't even know what sort of toy it is, but we're gonna find out together. So first off, let's get the box on the table and see what we've got. So this is, Dig Teams, the big one, massive dino egg. Now, inside this dino egg, we have a three-in-one smash tool. So I'm thinking we're going to get to smash some eggs open, which I'm really excited about. So we've got a chisel, just like a paleontologist who's sort of looking for fossils and, and whatnot. And I'm thinking there's probably going to be a fossil or, or some sort of skeleton within our egg that we've got here as well. So... Let's get it out, shall we? Let's open the box. It's always sellotape, isn't it? There we are. Whoa. It does look a big one, everybody. Here we are. Some instructions. I don't think we'll be needing them. Okay, awesome. Here's me. This is me chisel. I've got, I mean, I don't know what that's for. But that looks like a spade to me. So I think we'll put this attachment on the end here. We got our chisel, ready to smash the egg open. Okay, so what we got in here now, so we gotta take the top layer off. Give it a look. So we've got, <laughs> wow, look at the size of that egg. And now you can't, um, you can't appreciate what I'm appreciating right now, and that's the weight of this egg. It's so heavy, I wonder what's inside it now. It is wrapped in plastic, so we do just need to uh, we do just need to take that off as well. Oh. Now I would like to point out while I'm taking this plastic off that if you want to go and get yourself one of these, make sure you're over the age of six when you get your parents to come and help you with it. So, um, and I'll be honest with you, maybe ask them first as well because it looks like it's messy. <laughs> Our cleaner's not going to be very happy at all. Okay, so we've got it out. Oh, it's all over my hands as well. It feels really weird, everyone. Now, I don't know. If, well, I can't even have a look now because I threw the instructions in the bin, but I'm not sure if you just start cracking straight away. So, I'd, what do you reckon? Should we just go for it? Let's just go for it. Come on. Chisel. Egg. Here we go. Wow, look at all that flying everywhere. It's a bit difficult to get into, everybody. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, and I'm getting it all over myself as well. Can I have a look at that? Can you see? Oh, wow. The cleaner's definitely not going to be very happy with this. 
I know what I'm going to do, everyone. You hang fire two seconds. I advise you do this as well. I'm going to do it in a bowl. Are you ready? Hang on. I got me bowl. Um, I'll be honest with you. I would recommend that you use a bowl. It's very, very messy. You don't want to be getting this on your mum's best carpet. Believe me, she won't be happy. So let's keep... I, this is really difficult, you know. I don't know... What sort of dinosaur do you think we're going to get? What do you think we're going to get a dinosaur in here? I mean, what do you think is going to be inside here? I'm going to put it in the bowl so I can really... Wow. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Can I see something? Let's have a look here. Wow. This takes a lot of energy, this. I'm not going to lie to you. Come on. Where is it? Where are we at? I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it's enough out yet that you can actually see it, but I'm starting to see little bits starting to poke through. So now what I want to do is I don't want to, I don't want to hit that too hard. I'm going to go round the egg here because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to damage it. I'm so excited to see what we got inside here. I hope it's a T-Rex. What do you hope it is, everybody at home? is probably one of the toughest eggs I have ever encountered. Oh, now here we go. Here we go. Look at this, everyone. Come here. Come close. Look. Can you see? Look at this coming through now. Look at that. That looks amazing. Okay. If we get the whole top off. Look at the mess it's making, everyone. This is amazing. Oh, wow. I'm glad I got a bowl, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Wow. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would, so um, we're gonna use a bit of magic. We could have speed things up a bit. Here we go. See, we're about halfway through now. This egg now. This is this is a bigger mission than I thought it was going to be. I'm really, just to be totally honest with you. So have a little look what we've got so fast. Look, look at my hands to start with. Look at the state of them. I'm going to need a bath. So we've got a lot of the egg removed, and all we've got is little bits of bone sticking out. But I, I can't. I cannot make out yet what sort of dinosaur we've got, whether it's a complete dinosaur, whether it's a fossil that we're going to have to put together. I really don't know. And I mean, have a look inside my bowl and just look how much eggshell, if that's what you want to call it, we've got in there. Look at that. I would say that's more like, um, it feels more like a rock, like we're actually chiseling away at rock. I think that's what this meant to be. We're chiseling away at rock to find the fossils underneath a little bit like what happens in real life when we find new fossils and I've got to be honest with you, it's pretty much, it's hard work. Anyway, let's get that speed uh, going again and we're going to chisel some more away. Are you ready? Okay, our first piece has just fallen out. Now, I'm just trying to clean it, I'm trying to be very careful as well because I don't want to chip. I don't want to chip any of the bone away here, but it looks like the top jaw. Looks like teeth chomping down. This looks like the bridge of a nose, but I can't really. It's definitely a carnivore. We've definitely got a carnivore here because of the ponty teeth. Um, well, I guess so anyway, but that's the first piece. Let's put this down to one side and keep chiseling away. Two more pieces, sorry, three, I didn't see this one here. We have three more pieces to the puzzle, to the fossil. Let's have a look here, let's just clean this out a little bit. Trying to be as careful as I can here. Oh, I don't know what that is, I think that's maybe the top of the leg or... I'm trying to piece together what this might be, but I'm not too sure here. Let's put that one in the other lot. Now we've definitely got a claw. 
that's definitely a corner. That to me looks like maybe a Tyrannosaurus claw or a Velociraptor claw or something like that. We've definitely got a carnivore on our hands here. We've got maybe, this looks like maybe a part of a tail. Just clean it out a little bit here. But, uh, definitely getting closer, everybody. Definitely getting closer. This is one tough, tough bit of rock to get through. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Let's carry on. Two hours later. We did it. We've done it. Now, I think I've got through the entire rock, you may as well call it. That was next to useless. I don't know what that's for. I mean, it got through it eventually, but I, I did have to get in with my hands and just, um, yeah, try and break it apart. It's really tough. Have a look inside here. Look how much rubble. How much rubble's in there? Now, we do have to make sure that I've got all the fossils on. I think we have, and I'm going to show you all the pieces now. Now, like I said before, this is very messy, so look at that. Yeah. Please make sure you've got permission before you go and do something like this, okay? Now, we're going to put the rubble to one side. I'm going to get out a fossil and switch it over here. So, this is what I've excavated from that rubble. Now, I've figured out what this little tool is for. As you can see, inside the... Uh, the skeleton, and still bits of rubble, so we're just going to clean them out. Very good. There's only little bits in there, so as we're as we're building, we're just going to clean out the bits of rubble. Now, do you know what sort of dinosaur we've got? Can you tell? Just looking at the fossils laying on my table here, can you tell? Can you tell what dinosaur we've got? I know watching, we've got a lot of dinosaur experts, so you're probably going to get it before me. Um, I yet to have a clue if I'm being honest with you. Now, somehow, I've got to assemble this dinosaur. so wish me luck. <laughs> Let's do it together, come on. got a T-Rex. Yes. So we have got, we've made out of the fossils that we have found, all the bones and the skeletons within our rock, we've got a T-Rex. Which was a lot harder to put together than I thought, and I'm sure a lot of you out there could have done it a lot quicker than me. I'm positive of it. Now it is meant to rest on this little plastic rock, but um, in my frustration in trying to get it out of the rock, I seem to have broke the piece that um, helps it balance, but other than that, I think that's a job well done. Right, let's put this T-Rex to one side. I'd better get back to work, I think, and uh, go and check in on my real dinosaurs and make sure they're all okay. I really hope you've enjoyed this week's instalment of Adventures with Ranger Joe. We'll see you again on the next one. Now, I can't promise when it'll be or where it'll be or what we'll be doing, but just know it'll be fun. It'll be an adventure, and you'll be with me. Until next time, keep being awesome, Rangers. And this is Ranger Joe, over and out. <laughs>